Once you said I love you, then you slapped me, you punched me, you shot at me, you called me bitch. You said, I want to kill you. I cried. What is love? I asked. We were walking in the street. I want to have sex with other women. I want to fuck her. She's gorgeous. I want to see you suck another dick, you said to me. I didn't want that for me. I shut down my doors, but I didn't leave. Then back home, you put on a porn video on your laptop, wonking yourself for hours. You said I was jealous. You didn't touch me. You didn't spoil me. You didn't want me. You didn't look at me in my eyes. How then can I want you? What is sex? I asked. Time passed, and I began to think, what is a relationship? Do I want a relationship like this one? Do I love myself? I asked that day, looking at myself in the mirror. Why does sex play such an important part in each one's life and in the world? Sex has always been a taboo, but now sex is anywhere. Perhaps sex is to be creative, apart from children. And also sex has become important because everything around us is circumscribed. Jobs, office, going to church, politics, shopping. All of this has deprived us of our freedom we are not even free from ourselves, from our past. A sex, uh, perhaps there is freedom in there, but it is also circumscribed. From generation to generation, we have been told what to do, and reaction to that is, I do what I want, which is also limited, based on your own pleasure, desire, and so on. And to express that freedom, we have one source called sex. Why do we give to sex that importance? Do we give equal importance to the feeling of being free from fear? Why is it done only just through sex? Maybe because it's the easiest thing to have. The other, being free from fear, demands all your energy, which can only come when you are free. So, what is sex? Is sex a pure physical act that gives us freedom? Does sex imply a relationship? Is sex love? It took me 40 years to understand that I wasn't loving myself and that all my surrounding was a reflection of who I am and therefore who I was. Clearly I didn't love myself if I let other people abusing on me. I thought I was fine, I was sane, but I discovered that I was damaged. From my family, previous relationships, schools, teachers, religion, society, politics, priest, sex experiences, environment. And actually all of this was my educational process in life that made me become who I am now. I was born free, without past, without future. I had everything I needed. I was enough. I was powerful. I was love. Then, living my life, I lost that love, that abundance, beginning to be afraid. And when you are afraid, love disappears and fear gets in. I develop without knowing a negative way of thinking. I call it a negative and a helpful mind, which I wasn't actually aware of its existence because I even didn't realize that I had a mind, thoughts, and imagination, and that I could change it. I was just living. I didn't observe myself. I could die if I was sleeping. What happened? Why I didn't love myself? Why and how I lost that love? All begin with your parents. Do they want you? How do they love you? I was unwanted, suppressed, pushed down, blamed, not trust, refused, betrayed, cheated, not accepted, emotionally, physically and mentally abused, firstly by my parents, then by strangers that became friends, boyfriends, some of them abusers. Then I live my everyday life blaming, Cheating, refusing, betraying, not accepting, not trusting, complaining, and abusing. Because this is what I've been taught while I was a child. A growing up society helped us well, priests more. I was educated as a Catholic because my mother is a Catholic. I had sins. Then I had another breakdown. It was hard to see myself lost, like a piece of shit resting on the floor, 
with the realization that I'm the only one responsible of my reality, of my happiness, and then drained, take all the pieces and put them all together, again, one after the other, and even thought I may look intact outside. Inside I will never quite be the same as I had been before the fall. It is a hard job to forgive yourself and then love yourself at some stage of your life. When I started to become my observer, a new perception of reality popped up. I discovered that I'm not me, that I'm not my body, or better who I thought I was. I'm something more powerful. One day, I went to visit a psychologist at the NHS. They prescribed me six sessions to start with. I wasn't well. I was obsessed. My mind was creating stories. They were not real. The movie was killing me. I had the negative thoughts that were creating only negative emotions, which were becoming stronger day after day, creating my own reality. After two sessions talking no sense with a psychologist, I decided to record myself with my camera and ask if I could. The psychologist agreed and I did it. Back home that night, I downloaded the video. I, myself, watched myself talking. I felt disturbed. I didn't like me. That person talking wasn't me. Who was she? My perception of myself was completely different. I started to doubt that I knew myself. The fact changed completely my perception of life. And I began to observe myself. I started to meditate. Reality based on perception. So we look inside first, decide what kind of world we want to see, and then project the world outside, making the truth as we see it. She was obsessed. Those stories were not real. I wasn't in control of myself. Feelings and thoughts were in control of me, where they were coming from. Attachment, especially emotional attachment, is a danger because it breeds fear, anxiety, hate and jealousy. And when you see that danger, there is action. Why my relationships never worked? Because my relationship with myself never worked. If I never loved myself, how could I love someone else? I learned to close my eyes, concentrate on my breathing. I felt alive. Breathe in, breathe out. If it stops you at that. Then I observe my mind as a spectator. What are my thoughts? What are my emotions? What mechanism is inside me? I became aware. My mind has always made me believing that I'm not worthy, that I'm not good enough, that I'm ugly and not deserving, that I'm a loser, that I'm poor, that I'm not loving, that I'm guilty, that I'm useless. But it is all wrong. My mind is a liar. Do you love yourself? Self-respect, self-worth, and self-love all start with the self. To love yourself is a process, like love, sex, and relationship. It is a personal journey, a never-ending process, the reason why we are here. Love is an act, a spiritual force that has been taken away from us. You were born love. You are love. I repeat myself. You are love. Don't forget this. Our job in this life is to reappropriate of our freedom, to be who we are and become rebellious. To love is to be free. What is love? Love is life. Love is everywhere. Love is a state of mind like happiness. Love is action. Love is freedom. Love is compassion. Love is inspiration. Love is selfless. Love is passion. Love is kind. Love is giving. Love is healthy. Love is respect, love is art, love is a force of the nature, like the sun love radiates. Love has no boundary, love doesn't have distinctions. Love is joy, love is acceptance. Love is here, in the now, in any moment. Love is trust, love is no pain, love is no hate. Love is not suffering, love is no possession, love is no jealousy. Love is not a trap, your mind is a trap, watch it. Love is no fear, love is a healing power, love is you and I.